A few weeks ago, lots of users started reporting about an issue where HP Smart App started installing automatically on non HP machines running on Windows 11 and Windows 10 PCs via Microsoft Store. And if your PC is affected by this issue, then you will see a new HP Smart App in the Start menu, just like that. If you landed on this video, then it's highly possible that you are also facing the same issue, right? Fortunately, Microsoft has released a KB53410 update, also known as Microsoft Printer Metadata Troubleshooter Tool December 2023, to fix auto-installing of HP Smart app on Windows 11 and Windows 10 PCs. Let's learn how to use this update or tool to fix the issue. Before we move forward, we are trying to get 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Please consider subscribing to channel as this encourages us in creating similar videos. Alright, first of all, uh, you need to head over to this page. On this page, if you scroll down to this section, you can check in the notes that this tool will help users and administrators address the known issue, printer names and icon might be changed and HP Smart App automatically installs. This tool is available for ARM32 and ARM64 bit accompanied by 32-bit and 64-bit devices. My PC is 64-bit based, running Windows 11, so I will download 64-bit version. For that, click on the download button and this will show the update for discuss device architecture type. Check the box for the tool and then click on the download button. Now you can install this update just like any other update released by Microsoft and you need to follow these steps. Open elevated command prompt window. For that, click on the search icon and type CMD. When the same app appears in the search results, click Run as Administrator. When UAC dialog box appears, click Yes to continue. In the Command Prompt window, you need to type CD space forward slash D. Now after this, you need to type the location where you have downloaded the tool. To find the exact location, head over to file that you have downloaded. In my case, it's in the Downloads folder. Now right click on it and select copy as path. Now paste it in the notepad like this. In Windows 10, you need to press and hold shift key. Then right click to get copy as path option in right click menu. Select it and then paste it to notepad. Now in this command, downloads is the folder where file is downloaded. And this is the name of the tool version that you have downloaded that is print metadata troubleshooter x64.exe. Now copy paste this location after cd space forward slash d within the code like that and hit enter. This will select the directory on which you have downloaded the tool. After that, copy the name of the file. In my case, it's print metadata troubleshooter x64.exe. It could be x86, arm86 or arm64, depending on what you have downloaded. Now hit enter again. Now this will run the tool. If your PC is affected, the tool will show a message troubleshooter completed successfully on device where incorrect printer information was found fixed. On the other end, if your PC is not affected, then you will see a message, troubleshooter not applicable since metadata package not found. As my PC is not affected, that is why I'm seeing this message. So as simple as that. You need to keep in mind that icon and metadata changes may take a couple of hours after the installation of the tool completes. So that's it. Why don't you try this solution on your affected PC and let me know in the comments if this fixes the issue for you or not. So that's all about this video. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel for getting notifications about whenever we upload new videos. Also donate by using the thanks option below or using the link in the description. Thanks for watching.